Welcome to Song of Horror, Episode 4. Hello, Crayson. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Was gonna say, quickest stream ever. Yeah, um, no. <laughs> Definitely not offline. Um. <laughs> Fun times. GG's. Um, yeah, so we're diving back into Song of Horror. Um, we got really, really far in episode four last night. Um, and just to recap, we had, we had an amazing stream last night. Like, we we'll back to the spooky monastery. Yeah. Oh, we going in the graveyard tonight. Um, last night we got raided by Skepsis, which was amazing. Um, we got some new friends, which was amazing. Uh, and yeah, like it was just, we just had a really great time and we got a lot of stuff done. We, we started and finished episode three. We got really, really far into episode four. I think we streamed for like, what was it? Almost seven hours or something. It was a long time. Um, but it was, it was super fun. Um, seven. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it was just awesome. And so tonight we're diving back in episode four. I don't know how far we are in episode four. Um, the map is like enormous. There are so many rooms, so many puzzles, so many things. So I have a feeling we're more than halfway, but I think we, uh, I think that final, whatever, whatever we have left, I think is going to be a lot. Um, we've got to be pretty far into the episode. Yeah, I, th I think we're pretty far into the episode, um, but I can't imagine that we're almost done because we have several different puzzles to kind of get done. We have a whole new area to explore. There's a couple doors that we couldn't go into initially, so we need to go back and check if we can go in those now. Um, you can't imagine there are many more map areas to open. No, I don't... I, I mean, I was surprised that we got into the... Um, underneath the well and then we found the the chapel i think um so there was so many more but yeah i i i would be very surprised if there's if there's more uh map areas because this map is by far i think the largest of all of the the map areas we've had um it's insane it's a lot and there's a lot of new new um i was gonna say gimmicks but they're not gimmicks so there's a lot of new uh interactions with the ghosts different um different ways to combat the ghosts um very spooky um but yeah <laughs> can we do a recap when we get to the map on screen sure in fact let's just dive into that right now um we'll recap everything that we've sort of found and where we have left to go and all that kind of stuff so great suggestion This is the Abbey of St. Cecilia, who is the patron saint of music. Oh, that's perfect. I actually just caught that. <laughs> um, I just caught that little fact. Um, yeah, and uh, of course, we're playing as Sophie, who's the Sophie's best girl. She's been our... Uh... Okay, I just hope we don't get attacked while we're... Uh... While we're, while we're recapping. So here's the freaking map. So again, this is enormous. And this isn't even all of it, right? This is just, there's like upstairs or downstairs. There's there's uh, the crypts. There's a lot. There was a lot of stuff. So right now we're in the granary. Um, so let's see. Um... We started in the old cloister, which is seen on the middle of the screen here. We've got, um, see that little gear icon top right of the old cloister? That's a puzzle that we have. It's like a, a hatch that's super heavy that we can't get open. However, we just found a shovel and I think that's gonna help us crank open that hatch. Be awesome. Down in the southern, uh, far, the farthest south point on the map, there's a little gear icon. That's a fireplace that we need potentially at some point to burn something. Um, we don't know what it is we have to burn, but we do have a bellows, which is going to help us 
um, uh, increase the uh, the fire, the weak fire, correct? Um, in this new cloister, the square with the sort of uh, one, two, three, four, five pentagon, right? <laughs> um, with this shape in the middle at the new cloister, that's where we keep getting attacked by all of these like ghost creatures, and we have to use like a mirror and um, our super bright flashlight thing to like uh, to disperse the ghosts. Um, so that's always fun and very scary when when we get over there. Um, in the basilica here, um, uh, which is sort of this like finger shaped area, um, hand with a finger pointing up, um, a foam finger, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, there's a gear icon, but that's simply for turning in confessions. Um, for we found these little confessions in certain areas, and when we turned them in at the basilica, we got. Um, tarot cards back and I, I think they're just collectible items I don't think they're for anything um, but that's that and then we have the graveyard which we have not been into yet because I was like I, well I was like nope <laughs> I was like, that's a big nope we're not doing that um, I, I have a very bad feeling about the graveyard um, basically because when we got to when we got to the abbey we, as we started finding more and more information out about um, following in Sebastian's footsteps, because he's trying to find the music box so he can end the curse of the music box, right? Um, as we started following his footsteps, we learned that the monks at this monastery, at this abbey, they um, basically, they all heard the music from the music box and they all got cursed and like shit went crazy they had to lock up the crazy people they had to they had to like burn all these bodies it was just a freaking nightmare um but the the uh like uh what what is he he's like he's the abbot he's like the 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 head guy at the at the abbey he um they barred yeah they barred a heavy door that i may or may not have unbarred <laughs> i'm not sure <laughs> um uh and uh the the head guy here um there was the abbey librarian yeah so the abbey librarian was the guy who was like hey we should we shouldn't do this to the to these people we should let them out they we shouldn't lock them in and and let them suffer we need to help them and uh the head guy was like no we're going to keep them in there and so he ended up killing the abbey librarian but in the meantime they had heard the head guy like singing the melody of the cursed music box like out across the graveyard so i think he's on the other side on the far side of this graveyard so we might have to do some really spooky encounters um the other thing that is relevant to mention is that we found so you see how many doors are on this map right now we've had um, many different kinds of keys. We've had a silver key, an iron key, a pewter key, and um, now all the doors are unlocked except for one, which requires a bronze key. So at some point, I'm going to find a bronze key. We'll be able to unlock that door. Um, so that's kind of that. That's, that's I think that's as caught up as, as everybody can be as far as what we're dealing with here in episode four. Uh, oh, you recall thinking we saw Sebastian Husher through a window, but you can't remember where that was. That was when we were standing in the new cloister. And we looked up, I think, somewhere somewhere above the new cloister, and we saw somebody who looked like Sebastian in the window. Um, I thought it was a ghost. Everybody seems to think it was Sebastian. So <laughs> I hope you guys are right. That would be amazing. Yeah, above the new cloister. Yeah, um, so, so yeah, um, and I'm, I'm, oh, 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 and then I'm so sorry. Also, upstairs in the abbey, we have a puzzle that um, can be solved. We have to figure out a recipe of a plant of some kind to like combine a bunch of plant seeds, and then something with a cooking pot, and then. You know what? I actually forgot what that far right puzzle was. Top right. Um, I haven't been there in a while, so... Basically, we got a lot of stuff to do. Um, 
So, and, and I see a key at the end of that, which is, I think, our silver key. Let me check our inventory. Yeah. It's our silver key. So, you know what? We should probably go wherever that is and um, open that door. Because that, that's what I said I was going to do. I was going to open all the doors that we haven't opened yet. But the question is, where exactly is that? Is that above the scriptorium? Or is that above the dormitory? I'm going to say it's above the scriptorium, just based on the staircase drawings. Oh, where is what? So, um, this, uh, in, in the top, this top section that I'm looking at right now on the map, with the, there's a staircase and a key on the left. Um, that, those rooms, I believe, are above the scriptorium, which is, uh, right above the new cloister. I'm pretty sure all of those rooms are there. Anyway, let's just go check it out, and, um, yeah, and then I think a couple more puzzles that I've actually forgotten all about. So it would be good to refresh. Although I have a bad feeling about what's going to happen once we go outside. I hope I can remember what the abilities, what the key bindings are for some of these, um, some of these moves I have to do. I'm particularly thinking of the one with the mirror and the lamp. I think it's move the mirror around, like by just by moving the mouse around, and then it's right mouse button to dispel the ghosts. Um... I'm fairly positive. So this door here should take us to the staircase. And we gotta climb up. And then this door here should be able to be opened. Nice, that was the last door for that key. The cross is extremely well made. This place must have been really important back in the day. New room. Yes, this is a whole new room. Oh, and it looks large. Oh, <gasps> infirmary. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, no. How about... Oh, Victorino. Um, Victorino was, um, he was, he was the brother who opposed, um, Big Ernino's, they got in a fight of some kind. <laughs> it's been a lot of information. All right. Nothing in the Holy Scripture can describe that place. I see it every night, and every night it's different and unrepeatedly perverse. That impossible color, the horrible eclipsed gleam up in the skies. My mind is broken. Not even the devil would be capable of such deviousness, for he would howl in terror if he saw what I've seen. Pure horror, death, and eternal oblivion sound like sweet salvation compared to this. If upon taking my own life I awake tortured in a sea of flames, I will shed tears of relief. I am. Medicines and home remedies? Okay. Yeah, big wows. Oh, yeah! Huh. Here's another metal part. I think I've got all the parts I need. This will be quite a puzzle, Sophie. <laughs> Don't do that to me. metallic spare parts together is this th oh this is to bake the bone saw oh make the bone saw um yes oh um right get the key out of the dead guy's chest right 
Did I see everything over here? I feel like I missed something. No? Okay. That might have been the other gear. Symbol on the map. Yeah. I think you're right. Bucket with dried remains. Okay. I hate that for us. Shrouded bodies piled alongside sacks filled with... I'd rather not know what's inside. I can live without the flies. I can live without it, you know? Someone put candles by the triptych and improvised altar begging for someone's illness to be cured. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put okay, yeah, I saw that. And then I don't like the flies. Oh gross. A workbench with assembly tools. It would be useful if I need to put something together. Let's just get all the spooks out of the way before I look at anything else. Old surgical equipment. It's all in really bad shape. They didn't even lift him off the chair. Well, as long as he stays there. <gasps> oh. <laughs> um. Well. Are you telling me I literally have to do this? Like, by myself? What the heck? Wait, how do I? Uh, um, information. How do I look at information? It was up after I set the last one down. Oh! <laughs> wow, okay. Um, interesting. Very interesting. How do I select a different... oh. Uh... This is complicated, I'm not going to lie. I seem to have two of... I wonder... why do I have two? Uh... How do I, like, place it? What is with that, like, animation? Um... Maybe I don't have to place it? Switching to a different part might leave it on the table? Right. But like, how do I place it? I'm a little lost on this one. This is, um... Let's see. Oh wait, do I need to use that little... That thing that's already there? I think I do. Let me see something here. Like, using this... Maybe it needs to go the other way. Like, kind of doing a little thing like, uh... Um... 
Um, thought I had to use that. Maybe, maybe I don't. Um, <clears throat> what happens if you scroll the mouse wheel from here? No, scrolling the mouse wheel turns it like this. Um, so putting pressing Q places it back. Yeah. Let me see, what the heck? Um, so it looks like that... Oh, maybe it's this thing here. Maybe I need to start with this. Maybe put this somewhere like... Oh. Wait. Okay, like that, <laughs> sure. Um, and then maybe put the saw, saws need to look, they look, the saws seem like they're layered on top of each other. Kind of like, um, oh, I don't, is it the other way? Um, figured I need to slide the, maybe I need to put the bottom one down first. I think this, this one is, is, um, is on the bottom. That's just total guess though, probably. And I, I have no sort of like riddle on this, right? It's like... Totally. Um. Saw teeth go up. Right. I'm not using the one with the teeth. Um. Let me see. Maybe that maybe those aren't next. So maybe I do the little um the little stethoscope looking things first. Um no. Okay, maybe I need to rethink that entirely. Uh, yeah, I just removed the first piece. Unintentionally, though, I didn't mean to remove it. Um, it just kind of happened that way. Saw blades maybe before the first piece? Okay. Slide them through. Drying. The thing is, I don't know, like, if what direction it's supposed to face. And this piece in particular, that one, I can't even see. Oh. I think... Well, I think I have a... I think... Actually... They're next to each other, not on top of each other. So this... Oh wait, 
this might go game. <laughs> Um, try this way just to be clear. Oh, okay. That might be wrong though. Because I think. I think. I thought that um, that the blade goes on the far side, you know, and that the the smoother stick kind of goes behind it. Does that make sense? What I'm trying to say, like the blade is on the outer far side, and we have it kind of. It does. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Good. Um. Or just above. Oh wait, no, that actually might be right, though. But something goes before it. Like this might be here. If I can, if I can get it. <gasps> oh, not. Oh no. Dang it. Was it this way or was it the other way? I think it was that way. Oh boy. Okay, that goes there, maybe. Maybe one of the little stethoscope things goes before Try doing the ring on the end, okay. I think the fact that those bolts went down is not a good idea. I think it needs to bolt into to this piece as well. Somehow. Um, flip, flip it, flip, rotate this, the long piece. So that's ro that's flipping it. Um, Am I sure right and left are correct? Like in the um um in the drawing compared to what I'm doing? I'm more or less correct be I I I think yes more or less because um I think Uh, yeah, I think basically it's, it's supposed to be... I think one of the stethoscope things needs to go first. But it might not be this stethoscope. That might go there. And then this one, maybe? Uh, thought I had that. <laughs> now it's not seeming like I do. Uh, 
perhaps something else. I thought that might go next, but maybe... No, I feel like that's still right. Um, maybe both of them need to go. Maybe this one needs to go. Actually, what does it look like in the drawing? It's, um, oh, it's on the end of that thing. Um, maybe this needs to go way farther out than I think it does. Shouldn't go there. Do I have it completely backwards? It doesn't seem like I do. The long slot. Oh. Should the horizontal notch go through it? The long slot, should the horizontal notch go through it like a slider? Oh, I see. I think. <laughs> Um, I see what you're saying. Like, should it go like that, like a slider? Um, I, I think maybe something needs to go down first. Um, so let's see what what might go first. Perhaps the perhaps this little guy goes goes I'm trying to line it up there. In this, flip it over. Oh, nice. Now, maybe we try this one. Maybe it's maybe it's this thing now. Place that in relation to the newest piece. Um Yeah. Oh no, that one goes at the end of the other thing. Sorry, you're lagging. No worries. Um yeah, okay. Maybe... And I just want to make sure that I have that right, like... I think I do. Um... You mean like back here, like this? Mm -hmm. Not sure now. Okay. Hmm. Maybe, maybe I need to figure out, but that one I think attaches to this, this thing, you know? I am like 45% sure. Um. Oh. This thing seems to... Oh, but I can't... How about the ring? 
Yeah. Um... But you see how the screws kind of go down? I, I would imagine that this thing needs to get screwed into that, you know? But maybe not? Maybe flip it all the way around. Maybe it's the wrong way? Like, I, I, I feel like this should be able to go right here, and yet it can't for some reason. You know? Like, it just, like, what's the problem? Um, what is the problem? Unless this goes down first, for some reason, and this goes down after. But I don't like that. It didn't make any sense to me. What the heck? It seems to fit under. In the drawing, it looks like it's underneath it. Um, so I don't understand. Why it's not... Why it's not correct. Unless... Unless, um... The whole thing is wrong. You know what I mean? Like, is it possible... And I hate to take it all apart, but is it possible that this needs to go... Hey, John, how are you? The slider does need to go before the blade. Ah. That's what I thought. <clears throat> oh well. We're making our bone saw. That's right. Oh wait. Way. I think that needs to go. How's it going? It's going all right. Uh, we basically just got into it. We had, we actually had one more door to open up. Um, so we, uh, we went to open it with our with our silver key, I think. And then we just found this table, and we found the last metal junk piece. So we combined them all, and and now we're trying to make our our bone saw so that we can open the guy's chest and get the um uh... yeah the, the bone saw for the guy's chest so we can get the key that's like that's stuck in there i think i think this is getting might not be a bone saw that's true we <laughs> we're sort of sure about that it's a bone saw um This is feeling right. This is feeling good. I think this thing goes... Uh, in here. No. Maybe it doesn't? <laughs> No, it does, but it's, uh, for some reason, maybe that is, needs to be the last piece or something. Hello, Jagged! How are you doing? Hey, 
There we go. Ooh. Now I have a working retractor. A surgical retractor, a medical instrument designed to separate the edges of incisions or hold back bones or organs. All right. Not a saw, but a retractor. But we can use it as a saw, sort of, right? You're good. Let's get the key out of to ribs. Yeah, um so we used our silver key for the for the last time. I didn't realize this, but we had a, an extra door to open. So we opened it up and we found the infirmary. So now I am going to go find the guy and uh get that key out. Your video streaming quality is so high, shrimp. The line here has a problem. The line has a problem? I'm actually concerned. I don't remember where the dead body was. Was the body in this room here? Oh, yes, it is. Hello, body. Let's do it. Okay. Here we go. Nothing bad's gonna happen. It's gonna be totally great. Ooh, the Prior's Ornate Key. A yellowish key that belonged to Father Malachias, Prior of St. Cecilia. Uh -huh. It doesn't seem to have been used much. Oh, the internet connection. Oh, is it, um... Is it too, um... Is it, like, lagging on you or something? Wait, why am I doing it again? The retractor broke as I was pulling it away. Now I have a broken surgical retractor. One of the blades is broken. If only I could replace it. I have a feeling the body is going to give her a hug. <gasps> oh. I hope it doesn't hug me. That would be very bad times. Um, oh, and this was the door that I couldn't go into. Not that I want to. Oh, it's quiet. Oh, it's blocked from the other side. Okay. Yo, oh do God. not mess with Sophie. That was almost the end of me. Oh, uh, source is 1080p. Hmm. I mean, I can I can actually change the source to 720, not tonight, I think, while I'm live, but I can I can change it afterwards if that would be preferred. Um Yeah, I don't know how it works, like if you lower the quality on your end. I'm not I'm not a tech guru. I don't I don't know these things. Um, Let's see, okay, do anything with that. choices are source and auto so if auto doesn't scale down for internet speed then you don't know what to do yeah same i'm i'm not sure if, if auto doesn't change anything then then unfortunately it might just be kind of kind of laggy i don't think i can change it 
yeah St doing it before before i stream would would help you i think changing it before is what I meant to say. Yeah. Hey. Um, so, we've got our shovel. Wait, where's the shovel? Okay. I think we can use the shovel to, um open that hatch that we couldn't open before. So I'm gonna do that. You wonder if choosing auto and then making the window smaller on the desktop might help. Maybe. Worth a shot. So other viewers cannot see you with lower quality. Um, yeah, I guess if, if it's like, if auto like keeps it at 1080 which like is dumb <laughs> it should scale down but like if that's how it's if that's how it works then yeah i guess um that's lame do you think it would be better if i if i streamed in 720 to make it like more is it more accessible if i do it that way hmm keep it open uh -uh. hmm I thought for sure I'd be able to open the hatch with the shovel um all right well in that case um since I don't know what I need to use the fire for and I don't can't open the hatch, and I can't make a potion out of the flowers. Um, ooh, Jagged, yeah. It's an issue in certain nations. Go to settings, advanced, and set low latency to on. I actually had to do that today. I was watching somebody, and I had to turn on the low latency. I guess we'll just head to the graveyard. Oh, you have it? You have low latency turned on? Oh no! Hmm. You'd set it to auto and not... What's that noise? So you can watch other streamers at different qualities, but for some reason, mine is forcing you to watch it at source. That's no boy, no. I don't like these noises. I don't like these noises. I will, um, I'll investigate, uh, after tonight. I don't think there's anything I can do about it now. Um, but after tonight, I can check it out and see what my... Just double check all my settings and stuff. I'm sorry about that. Make sure there's nothing on my end that I, uh, that I haven't done. Uh... What's that noise? Is that a howl? Like a wolf? Just a buried corpse, normal for a grave. Nothing in there but remains. I should think twice about opening up random graves. Why did why did she open that grave? It's a Twitch thing, not an ISP thing. Looks like the streamer has the control of it. Right row. <laughs> Then I will definitely I'll I'll check that out. I'm very sorry though if you've got um laggy stuff right now. Wait, no no no, I don't wanna do this. Stop it, Sophie. Sophie. 
Opening graves is not the strat. I don't think. Okay, that door can't be opened. Found this. The ability to change quality is only guaranteed to partner accounts. Affiliates only have a higher priority than normal users to receive a slot. Does that mean that until I become affiliated or even partnered, I can't I can't change my quality? Some people stream at lower resolutions until oh, until they hit partner. Oh. Lock is so worn out, I'd say rust is the only thing keeping it in place. You're reading Reddit threads? <laughs> nice. And... What do I use on this thing? It's okay. It's just you cannot- you can't make a suggestion. You mean a suggestion in-game? Because <laughs> it's, uh, it's lagging. But before I cannot... I can just see you, just okay. She's raising minions for herself for the boss fight opening tombs. <laughs> yeah. Other streamers you see are just okay. Hmm. Um, I don't know what to use on this thing. I guess I don't have anything quite yet. Um, looks like I can use the bellows. But I think not. Maybe the flowers? No. That's the way I came from. Because I have so many quality change before. Oh, was it was it working? Was it working well at one point and then it changed? Maybe because- Oh, the extension, like, um, the- Do you think the- like, the, the chat on the screen or something that I've- I've changed something? Hmm. Might be an affiliate thing. But she has control of streaming resolutions. Let's spread the word to get 50 followers and then have sub stuff and other shit. Yeah. That is the goal. That is the goal. Then all the fun, then the party can really start. <laughs> and I'm doing my best. Um, I'm like, I'm spreading the word on Twitter and I have like an Instagram account and I'm like, I'm doing everything I can. Because then we can have like all sorts of shenanigans going on. And I think it'll be really fun. Gate is blocked. I'm honestly scared of opening all of these tombs because I have a feeling I'm gonna die if I do that. Um. Down with that. It's almost as if these these three statues were guarding the graveyard entrance. That thought is so disturbing that I'd rather just forget about it. It looks like Twitch only has scaling ability for a certain number of users at any given time. So if it's a busy night, not every streamer has the ability to scale. And of course, priority is given to partners first, then affiliates, and then everyone else. Um, yeah, like, maybe that's a, a thing, like, at Affiliate, people can change it mid-stream, 
but I might I think I can um, I can adjust my resolution when I'm offline so that the next time I go online my source is 720 which might just be better for for people in general um, at least at this time that's more maybe that's just more an accessible thing um, if you know what I'm saying Sharp tools, rusty and covered in slightly reddish stains. Gross. Okay, this is the big spooky room. What? The locked plate is made of bronze. Whoever lived here must have been important, the abbot most likely. Those lights just turned red inside. I hate that. I hate that a lot. Let's see if I can get out of the... Uh, did the lights just turn off? Let's see if I can make it out of the graveyard alive. Dang, so there's a lot I need to do. There's a couple doors I think that I haven't been inside of. Um, should probably go check those out. And there's a couple puzzles I have yet to do. So, first off, I need to find a bronze key. Um, And I think I've seen everything in the grave graveyard. <laughs> that howl just scared me. How do I get in this door? There we go. Jeez. in there, Sophie. <laughs> Breathing simulator. <laughs> Hello, Mikey. I'm well. How are you doing? Thanks for popping by again. focus sorry <laughs> we are um evading the spooks big ghost time that's over just and trying to retrace our steps here trying to figure out what we uh what we need to do just got out of work congrats best feeling ever see here I think I should go into the refectory indeed Still spooking? He's still freaking spooking. My guy. Okay. Then maybe. Hmm. Go back to the fireplace. Let's see if there's anything we can burn. It's true, actually. You were reading an article some days before. It said our internet infrastructure capabilities today are like those of 1890s telegram grid. If we make the population proportionate to the 1890s. During the lockdowns, when people were watching streaming services and Nikki Nikki stuff, 
in higher res in higher definition that actually saturated the world internet completely whoa more shutdowns and breakdowns yeah i'll bet like the freaking internet just <laughs> exploded during lockdowns can i do that Nakey Nakey stuff. <laughs> Let's see, can I burn anything? Can I burn these tools? Mm -mm. Huh? Can I burn that? No. <laughs> You're totally calling it that from now on. <laughs> nice. Hmm. Mm. Get into the fireplace puzzle. Um, patch, we don't need that. You want random science facts to be the reason of your chat ban, not anything else. What the heck? Excuse me? Hello? Okay. That doesn't sound good. No, it does not. It does not sound good at all. I guess we'll go out here, even though I hate going out here because those monsters always attack us. Big, big ghost shenanigans. You would have ran if you saw that? Same. Actually, same. <laughs> Not you, Nikki Nikki. I got you. I got you. <laughs> I know what you meant. Um, I'm gonna go over here, because there is a puzzle over here. Was it in there? Yes. I hate this crawl space. Yeah, these characters, like, are so... They're so brave. Like... They just they just handle all of this stuff like like professionals. Like I I wouldn't even be in episode four. I would not have I wouldn't have made it through episode one. Like IRL. I would have quit. Oh, this is the door where all the keys need to go. Dang it. Okay. Well, Real life has permadeath, not a fair comparison. <laughs> true. That's very true. Although, technically this game this game should have permadeath, but we're just we're just not doing that. <laughs> um Well dang. Sorry, shrimp, I cannot follow your play <laughs> Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. I cannot follow you play with the pandemic. The internet is like shit. I think I'm gonna die. I didn't- I didn't search. I should have listened. Oh, phew. I made it. Should not have made it. Let me know if you're kidding, John, because I'm sorry if you do have to go. It's actually not working. Or if you're- or if you're- if you're, um... If you're being serious or not. It's difficult to tell when you're just reading. I'll be very sad. Um. And we have no information uh, as far as which which flower combination we need to make, right? Um. 
just looking through my notes, see if there's anything about flowers. You have a feeling the ability to scale down the resolution won't come back until later in the evening when there are fewer people streaming. Oh, so it's, it's literally taken off how many people are streaming, like not even just you, like not how many people are watching you, but how many people are on Twitch at the time, at any given time. You're serious about the quality? I'm sad. I'm sad to hear that. Um. No. Wait, let me just test something really quick. Yeah, I just checked. I can't I can't do it when I'm live. Um it has like a big it's like a big red a big red no. It's like no, we cannot change it. Um hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to go offline. I'm going to change it and I'm going to be right back. Now the base resolution is is uh, still at 1080, but now the output should be at 720. So you should be able to see everything normally, just the um everything's a bit different. The uh the output is a bit different. Are we looking good? We're feeling good? And also, hi, Edgy, welcome in. <laughs> Sorry, you, you popped in right as we were doing some some technical uh, technical things. It's working? Yay! Uh, yes, the, the, the FPS I moved down to 30, so for frame rates. And it's working. Yay! All right. Let's, uh, let's, uh, solve some, let's solve some ghost crimes. <laughs> no followers left behind. <laughs> We're making it work. We're making it work. Okay. Where do I need to go? What puzzles do I need to do? Um... Um... Oh my god, what? What happened? Oh, the ability to scale has returned. Well, I wonder if that is because of the, uh... If that is because of the, um, me moving it down. I don't know. The game is haunted, though. That's a fact, yes. Science stuff. <laughs> um so question what the heck <laughs> what are we doing here i need to i need to figure out like i've got that plant puzzle um that i have to do but i don't know what plant i need to make um like i, I don't think there's been any clues as to what plants uh what plants I need to make, um, like what seed potion thing I need to cook up. Um, and, and I think I've been everywhere, but, but I don't, uh, I, I'm, now we're, now we're at the sort of the part in the game where we're like, wait, what do we, where, where do we go again? What do we do? Um, so, yeah, and I don't have a bronze key. Yes, for the suggestions, wait for wait for Krayson to uh to lead us to certain death and then <laughs> Um Yeah. Where are we going? Um I'm gonna go back to that, to the, the cooking puzzle. Even though I don't think we've got information as to which, uh... Hmm. 
which potion we can make here. But we're gonna try. I'm gonna try. Did I go into the wrong room? Yes, I did. I thought we were gonna have a problem. I thought every time I go into the new cloister that I'd be attacked by those ghost things. But it's only happened like two or three times, thankfully. Everyone in trouble? Yes. But we still appreciate it. Do that. Okay. The stove is on. I see several pots and containers lying around. Uh -uh. She doesn't want me to cook with flowers. Um. Can I cook with the spade? Hmm. What if I just tried making one? You know? What if I just tried making one of these um, combinations here? Like, what if I made Ointhos, which is one Ambrinus and one Eusticus? <laughs> um, so that's... Wait, where's the... F and then B. One F and one B. Nope. But what for? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea what it's for. Um, I just was curious because we, we saw this puzzle and then we didn't like do anything with it. We just kind of like, uh, just kind of left it because we, we didn't have any, any reason to make it for. Um, huh. so I was just kind of hoping that I would find some sort of answer, but I guess we just need to wander. We just need to wander for a bit. <gasps> hmm. Because so we've got a bunch of stuff. I just don't know what to do with all of it. So our inventory, we've got the ornate key, which is something that we need to use, I'm assuming at the very end, to open up um, that door that has the four different keys. We've got pruning shears, we've got flowers, we've got a spade, we have the broken retractor, bellows, and a metal piece. So, are there any locked doors? There are, there's a bunch of locked doors, um, well there's not a bunch, there's two. But we need to find a bronze key in order to open them. There's two doors that require bronze keys. Um, door upstairs. Not upstairs from where we are, but there is a door um, in between the Basilica and the Chapter House that requires a bronze key. And then there's the door on the far side of the graveyard that requires a key, a bronze key. So... And there's, a, and there's the cooking puzzle, the hatch puzzle, and I think that's it um, at the moment. So it's tricky. It's like, <gasps> what the heck? No. Have I? That's a the heck oh, four keys yes they're upstairs across the across the cloister 
so we know where to put the final four keys. Uh, we just have to... We just have to finish the puzzle. Can we get to the other side of that door? Um, no, we can't. The other side of that door, you see that, that X that you're talking about? That is because, um, in that room, it's, uh, um, it's locked off on the other side. So, wait a minute. Maybe we can. Hold on. Wait a minute. Have we been to the graveyard? Yeah. We went to the graveyard, um, and we found at the far end of the graveyard, there, um, there's, a uh, the abbot's, like, house, his, like, personal house, um, but it's locked, so we can't get into it. And also in the graveyard, see that gear icon in the graveyard? The gear, there's a locked gate that's all rusted up, so I'm assuming we need to find, oh, maybe we need to make a potion of flowers that can like melt rust or something locked with what kind of lock ornate no it's just a bronze it's a bronze key lock <laughs> why did it sound like that gross <laughs> yeah mikey um the uh the ghosts in this game they're big big gross why <laughs> another bronze one yeah there's two two bronze uh doors that we need to unlock going in here because I can't oh this is where we got the uh the bathroom rag this is not a fun place to hang out Anything in here um do we know anything about flowers <laughs> do we know if there's like so uh, in the graveyard, there's a, a rusted, um, a rusted lock, and I was curious if we know if we found anything about flowers, because or plants, because we might be able to make a concoction that will like eat through the rust on the lock. That's just a, a theory. I, I have no idea if that's how it, how it works at all. Um, Hmm. Maybe I'll go... Make sure I didn't miss any other flowers out here. I guess it's possible that I missed... Because I do still have the shears. Maybe there's more flowers I need to pick. We found any oil anywhere? We have not. There's been no oil found. Unfortunately, no grease, no oil, um, and nothing like that either. Like all we have really is the uh, the ability at some point to make a potion um, of some sort to uh, that will do something. As vague as that sounds. Um, Yeah, and I don't- I don't even know. But there's somewhere that we haven't been, because we still need to find a bronze key. I'm gonna try going back to the other- the old cloister. And make sure that I've been everywhere here. Um, let's see. Been up there, and over to the side. Oh, you think the herb mixture would be for the incense thing? Is there any documents about about that? Um, I wonder. Well, this is where he talked about the the um, oopsie, the music. 
And we have to kill the monster? I hope not. <laughs> I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that. Um, see. Confessions of the Librarian. Um, there, I thought there was a thing where they talked about the, um, the incense thingy. <laughs> Thought maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. Whether or Nino. Okay, no. Make a potion to kill it. I mean, if we can like sneak up on him, then I'm here for that. But I don't want to fight. <laughs> Unless they give me a, a freaking Uzi or something. I just looked at that. Um Librarian's plans. Nope. Hmm. Another long shot would be trying to use the shovel to somehow get that chain working. Ooh. That's an interesting idea. Um right, because didn't we didn't we read that like the what is someone put their key in the um what is it even called? A thur thurible or something like that? The incense thing. Um, yeah, the the shovel I I know I can use to open. Um, I can open like graves, but she kind of Sophie made a comment that was like, I don't know if I should be doing this. I shouldn't open every grave. So I was like. I probably should. I probably should open every grave. Because I might die, but I might also find something. Thurible. Thank you. Yeah. Is there anything in the in a document that might have pointed us to a particular grave? Oh. I don't know. So this door I can't open. Just try it. We with you. I appreciate the support. Mm -mm. Just trying. Okay, no. Um, all right. So I'm going to try using the shovel to somehow get the chain working. Although I think it's an E, not a Q. Yeah, it's just an E. So... I, I really don't know. But Grayson has been giving all the suggestions. It's still on Grayson. And that's... Yeah. I can't, like, interact with it. Yet. Until something horrible happens. What about that? Give many flowers. We haven't had any spooky in a while. That's that sounds like a that sounds like you're challenging. That sounds like you're you're asking for spooks to happen. Can't get over there. Wait and see. Okay, I'm gonna go back into the graveyard and we're gonna be- we're just gonna dig up all the graves. That is the plan. Alright. No cue at the chain. Yeah. You're guessing it will activate when we do something else elsewhere. I... I think so? Open up, grave.
buried corpse. Okay. <laughs> I mean, how do you spend your Thursdays? Without that creepy sound. 100%. Close your stairs, okay. I need to go that way. Something like that. And the key will fall out in some dramatic fashion. Blame it on Grayson. <laughs> Is he, like, pointing to something? Hmm. Here we go! I can't just keep surviving this. This is insane if I do. Uh. A weeping angel. The statue is sinister and looks relatively modern. I hate that. Doctor Who reference, maybe? You think there were more than one of that statue? Got it. Okay. Oh, I hate this. It's just a jump scare waiting to happen. Okay. Life choices. These are death choices, I think. These are death choices. Okay. I don't want to know what kind of thing I'm releasing by opening all of these graves and not closing them shut again. Like, it seems like a really bad idea not to close these things. Okay. These creepy statues, I don't like them. And I think up here was the creepy house with the red lights coming out of it. Can't mean anything bad at all. Can I close them? I cannot. <laughs> cannot close them. Bronze. Did I open every single one? I feel like I did. Where would I hide? <gasps> you saw something on the wheelbarrow. It glow? Wait, was it the... Which wheelbarrow? This one? By the red lighthouse. Oh. This one? Closer to the house? Up here? Oh, the wheelbarrow. I'm thinking like a barrel. Oh my gosh. Sharp tools, rusty and covered in slightly reddish stains. Nothing there. Just a little flavor text. Hmm. 
the howling not okay so over here we've got the uh the locked gate I wonder if the statues have something to do with it. Might. It might be so. The lock is so worn out, I'd say rust is the only thing keeping it in place. Can't use shears. What exactly are we looking for? Um, I don't know. I'm kind of at the point in the game where I... There's something I need to do, or click on, or combine. Um, because I'm kind of, I'm kind of stuck with things again. Let me just try combining things. So in my inventory, I've got the ornate key. This is one of four ornate keys that I need. I have the pruning shears, which I used to clip the flowers, but I was able to keep them. I have the bouquet of flowers. I have the, the spade, the broken surgical retractor, which I used to open the guy's chest to get the key out. I've got the bellows, which I can use on the on the fireplace puzzle, but I need to find something to burn. And then I need... and I have a metal piece of some kind. We need to get rid of the rust for the lock, and we need a bronze key. Ooh, 30 second chat delay. Rip. Oh! Hang on! I just combined that metal piece and the surgical retractor. Can I use the retractor on the lock now? I can't break the gate open. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Can I examine it? Yeah. So now it's a surgical retractor. Just as is. Uh, it doesn't say anything new, it just says uh, public health inspector. I doubt a public health inspector would approve of this, but it works. So... I thought I could use it on the rust, but I guess not. Uh, unless I can combine that further with something. What if I combined it with, um... The shears? Or... The flowers? Find someone that's dead. Yeah. Hmm. What puzzles do I have that it would work on? Nothing really. Maybe I can try it on the hatch thing? If the retractor is in the inventory, it means the game tells us to prowl on the graves to extract keys from rotten bodies. Ah! I mean, they need to give me a body to do it on, because I've opened all the graves. Um, I think- oh, Here's a grave I haven't opened. Shall we? This one better not kill me. Oh. Oh. That was weird. The animation, like, didn't open it. Hmm. You like- yeah. What's this weeping angel? If angels exist, it wouldn't surprise me if they spent their days weeping. I would like you to not zoom in on the angel's face again, please. I'm not down for that. Um, hmm. Should I try the retractor on the, on the hatch? See if it works? Ooh. Oh my god.
on Grayson. Sorry, I had to concentrate. Those ones are really hard. Okay, Jagged makes a good point about the fact that we didn't lose the retractor after the corpse puzzle. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, like, it broke, and then we could pick it back up, and then we could fix it with another piece that we found. So, I'm guessing we could use it on either another corpse, which makes most sense. Um, or we use it in a totally different way. We still need three of those four keys, we just have one. Correct. Okay, yeah, I'm using the surgical retractor on this hatch. <gasps> oh snap. Okay, question. There's a body in there holding a key. Should I take it? Here's the problem with this key. <laughs> the problem with this key is that it's inside of a room that has spooky ghost noises inside it. And I've died every time. Um... It's a trap, get an axe. <laughs> well... I just don't know how else I can... I'm gonna be extra safe. I'm gonna be extra safe. And I'm gonna go around to the door, and I'm gonna listen. And if there's a ghost in there, I'm not gonna take the key. I think. She will lose her arm. And if there's a ghost... There is a ghost in here! Uh, but I need the key, so what do I do? Maybe he won't kill me? There's a queue. If there's a queue, maybe I can use, like, a shovel to, like, knock out the ghost <laughs> or something. Mm. But I need the bronze key! Fuck it, I'm doing it. Can't stop me. Come on, Sophie. You've survived worse. Yes. Yeah! That makes no sense, by the way, but yeah! <laughs> we did it! A small key with several motifs on the stem. Throw the lantern? I wish I could throw the lantern. Heck yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Okay, so let's go open some freaking doors. We're getting closer and closer to the part of the game that I, I'm not excited about, which is opening opening up the house with the red lights coming out of it. Like that's a giant nope. That's a giant nope. And I'm I'm not I'm not here for it. We have to do it, but I'm not looking forward to it. Okay. Seems perfectly safe. You're here for it. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm happy. You guys are all keeping me safe. <gasps> Whoa, look! A large mechanism that has several gears and chains. Red means stop or danger. I agree. It's... That's literally nature. Like, that's... That's just like... It's true. Okay. This, I know what this is gonna do, and I know how to solve this. I think this puzzle is gonna lower the thurible so we can get the key, and I know we have to use... Remember that, that crawl space I had to crawl into yesterday? I have to use the gear from the crawl space, um, pull it out, and put it in there, and then I think it's gonna lower the thurible. 
that's my prediction and we're running with it um so i gotta go into the refectory get that okay here we go you concur yeah I, i'm 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 feeling that's what's going on here Refectory, and then go to the south. Oh, wait. Is it? Yeah, I think it's in that room. I'm pretty sure it's in this way. I think it's in here. Approve and get spooky. In here? I'm... I'm... I think? Is where I left it. Yep. Here it is. I'll take that. I did take it, right? Yeah, okay. I have it. Nice. Okay, back to the chapter house. And the room with the basilica. Second uh, key. Like our, um, we've got the emerald key. Hopefully, hopefully we get it. That should be our second key. What was that? What is that noise? We running? We are running today. Maybe there will be three keys in there. I have a very sad feeling that I'm going to have to go into the house with the red lights and there's going to be there's going to be a key in there. But at what cost? <laughs> Quantum candle with infinite life. I need one of those. I know, right? The most useful thing in the world. Well, I don't know if the most useful thing in the world, but it's pretty darn useful. What? Something huge just fell. I bet it was the thurible in that church. Oh, Sophie, we are so far ahead of you. The candle has been working since episode one. <laughs> Except for that one time when I... It burnt out and I forgot how to turn it back on. Oh, I didn't forget, I just didn't know. And so I wandered around the dark for so long. Okay, please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Please no spooks. Ooh. Well, what do you know? Uh, this is super pretty. The treasurer's ornate key. A key with an intricate design belonging to Brother, Brother Victorino, treasurer of the Abbey of St. Cecilia. Heck yeah. Nailed it. And we're not making incense. <laughs> no, we are not. Okay, well, the last place to go is in the house with the red lights. <laughs> So let's uh let's go do that. Not happy about it. Two of four. We're making progress. What's that? don't like the noises. The body is so relaxed. You mean Sophie? OK, 
Okay. On the room before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's... Let's go. I hate this. I hate this. Oh boy. Oh my god. My god. What the hell happened here? This is literally a hundred percent worse than I thought. The angels changed postures, did I notice? What? I did not. I did not notice. A stone figure, a sculpture of the Virgin Mary. The figure is really heavy and appears to be crying. That's interesting. I can pick it up, and it says I can use it, but I can't. He's hanging on a hook. Like what? Abbott's diary. Okay. 25th of November, 1912. I ordered that all musical scores be burnt. We placed candles and lamps in each cell, to no avail, for the howling has not ceased. What kind of penance is this? What was our sin? We did nothing but sing. 29th November. If something should happen to me, the key will be safe. No one must find it. I shall entrust it to Our Lady of Candles. 8th December. I must do something. I'm starting to lose my mind locked up in here. Every corner looks threatening, and every flicker of the candle makes me fear the darkness and what lurks in its depths. The brothers have asked about Ernino, Victorino, and Malachias, but I don't remember if... I can't recall a thing. When I close my eyes, I only see grotesque forms writhing in the dark. What is happening to me? 11th December. An effigy. Be worshipped. Penance to save us all or those who may still find salvation. An idol made with our own being, with our own immortal soul. 13th December. They don't understand this penance. They can't see it's our only path to salvation, if indeed there can be such a thing. Illegible date. No, there can't be. I must have faith. Inscrutable are the ways of the Lord. Illegible date. In the dark corner of my room, I feel his gaze upon me. I feel him drawing near when the candle blows out. I can't see, but I know he is there, calling me, calling all of us. We must heed his call. Come, my sons, come and share the beatific vision. Let us bathe our souls in the dark light of the Holy Spirit and behold in all its glory the horrible beauty of God. Oh boy. This is so. Ugh. I have to find Hushar. And Same, back. Sophie. The real reader is shrimp. <laughs> Made more spooky. Nice. Um. I don't. Uh, can I smash? Whoa! Smash that statue. Hang on. Yeah, it says I can use it, but I can't actually put it. Put Q. Like, that's weird. I can't, like, use anything on it. I wonder. Maybe there's something in this room that I can use it with. The last place I'd want to hide in, to be honest. Another door. It says combine. It does say combine? Oh. Let me see. Combine. Oh, interesting. Let me see, what if I combine, like, the flowers? And what else could I combine it with? The tarot cards? The shears? No? Um, hmm. 
Maybe the key? Mm -mm. Key didn't work. Um, huh. Here's to be crying. The dude is swinging? Uh. There are hands all over the wall. Why? What was he trying to accomplish? Oh look, here's another one. Yes. A wood figure. Hand carved figure of the Virgin Mary. Hmm. Amazing woodwork. Ah. Uh, not sure what that I'm supposed to do about that. Probably the abbot, the portrait of a monster gone mad. How could anyone have done all this? Wonder. Uh, why? The door. Hands the hands grabbing the door frame. The composition. I've seen it before. There's dry blood all over the place. I hate this. I wonder what I need to do. Maybe it's something I need to come back to. Not that I'm looking forward to coming back to this room ever, but, um, hmm. Mm -mm. Hmm. I guess I'll go in here? And, uh, we'll try not to die? Oh god, why? Why? Bronze figure. Uh -huh. This little figure weighs a ton. Huh. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Why? Shit. Why? What is that? Uh, like I knew something was there. It was like the sound effect and then the swinging of the camera. I'm not a fan. <sighs> plaster figure. Huh. A hand-painted plaster figure of the Virgin Mary. Despite the wear and tear, it's obvious they use really good paint. Mm -mm. Hmm. What? Her scream broke your heart. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Mikey. A wax figure. <laughs> it's interesting they'd carve a figure in wax. Um. I have no idea. Um, there's something else I can look at. It'll let me. You bet it's the wax one because of Our Lady of Candles. Oh no. No, no. That figure. It's not just a macabre sculpture. It's the figure Daniel talks about. The one he sees in his dream. We need to melt it. Combine with... I don't- what do we combine it with? But you have been wrong every time before. <laughs> okay, so what, what did he say? The key will be safe. No one will- no one must find it. I shall entrust it to Our Lady of Candles. Um, can't take it. However, I may be able to combine it. Maybe I use the shears? Mm-mm. Um. Yes. You throw it in the fire. Try using it. Can't you can't activate it with like the use. Reminds you of the Huns and their conquest, a body shrine. Oh man. Those were not the days to be alive. Maybe I use the bronze key. 
It's like it needs two things, you know? Um, interesting. I'm not, like, in an actual room. There's no room on the map here. Weird. Have we explored everywhere? Um, as far as I'm aware, we have. Um, but we still have the fire puzzle, which I think is has something to do with maybe the wax figure. And we still have the gate in the graveyard that we can't open up. And we have the, the cooking puzzle. So it's possible that I just need to... I can come back later, you know? Although, after I find something, but... I feel like... I feel like there's something I should be able to... I still have the bronze key, which means that there's a bronze door somewhere. Uh, but it cannot be taken, correct. Yeah, let me just try... I'm gonna inspect it 80 times because... Yep. <laughs> I'm missing something. Definitely was. I think I see something through the wax. There has to be a way to reach whatever's inside this. Uh oh. I'm taking the statuette with me. I picked it up. Good good recommendations. Now I kinda wanna inspect all of them though. <laughs> In case. Jacket has high, high high blood pressure. Yeah, um, that was a whole thing in a previous in the previous episode, Mikey. Um, I had to just like turn the turn the item around like on every angle and press inspect, and then and then uh, we found like the answer after like two hours of of looking around. Um, it was quite <laughs> it was quite the event. I'm just checking. You never know. Okay. Um, now I'd like to leave this room. Stop it. Oh, there was the wood figure, though. Let me just check the wood figure. Um, I doubt there's anything here. But because the game is this game... <gasps> His picture changed! Why did it change? I don't like it. <laughs> That's the dude who's been following us. Oh no. I hate that. I hate that. Okay. We're gonna go back to the fire. Why? Why? Oh no, not here. Oh no. Ah! Ah! Get away from me! <gasps> He, he crept up on me. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> <clears throat> Ooh, okay. We got this. Hey, I think... Oh, just kidding. Ah, 40 second chat delay is killing you. Are you watching on mobile? Making sure I've got it. Okay, I've got the statue. Let's get out of here. I don't know why she doesn't always walk around with this mirror device. Just seems like the smart thing to do. Oh, he got close. None of that. Sir? Am 
my god. Get out of here, guys. Hate this. Heck yeah. I still be around? Uh, no PC, you're at work. I see. Yeah, watching on mobile is sometimes like... ...in a chat as well. Night shift, not much to do. Nice. Graveyard angels, indeed. Uh. How did... How is the lantern in her pocket? That's a great question. She's got like a Mary Poppins pocket. As giant lantern uses tiny candle. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. I, if I had that lantern, I'd be carrying it the entire time. Is it you or are some of the statues missing? I hope that's just you. <laughs> Because I don't like that. Where's the fire? It's down through the refectory. Okay. That's not my jam. Really quick, I want to check if the spooky door is still spooky. Now that we've got that key out of there, I wonder if the ghost has... Okay. Help. I need to get away. <laughs> Would love to, Sophie. Would love to. Um We finally stopped. Ooh. Like Holy Lantern from Van Helsing. <laughs> totally. Dang it. Spooky Monster is still obsessed with that door. I will move on. Wait, where do I go? I need to go in this room. Okay. And then go down here. All right. We're going to be cooking a wax statue. Here we go. Heck yeah. fell out of the figure. Should I take it? It looks hot. Let it cool. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> it's like, it was like bright red. It's a trap. Hmm. No. <laughs> Poor Mother Mary. She shouldn't have uh, taken a wax bath, I guess. Wait for it first. Oh, it says it's not hot anymore. Should I grab it? I guess I'll grab it. Ooh. A relatively flat key belonging to Father Aguano, Abbot of St. Cecilia. Sophie is crazy. Agreed. Very brave. And I still have the bronze key. Which is interesting. Because I don't have any more doors to unlock. So that's confusing. Um, I don't know what to do with this information. 
Lady uses hands for dirty dolls, but feet for a clean fellow. <laughs> She's got it all to, all backwards. Um, um, should I try to open the rusty gate with the bronze key? Um, I don't think that's gonna work. Shouldn't still have the bronze key. That's why I'm like super confused. Like, doesn't make any sense. Because I've I've supposedly opened every door. Uh, so the rusted lock is the only puzzle. No, we still have. So we've got the rusted lock in the graveyard. We have the four locks, or the four yeah the four locks, which we have three keys for, and we also have the cooking one with the plants. So, the other interesting thing is that we have, we still have a, a bronze key in our inventory, and typically the bronze key or any key that we use will go away if we've like maxed out all the doors we can open. So I don't think we've, we must not have found a door, hmm. you know? Cooking one has to have a key in it. Oh. That's interesting. Are there any key icons? No, that's the thing. Is that I don't see any key icons anywhere. Can you take more more of the Virgin Marys? Maybe they have a recipe in it. That's interesting. I tried to, like, I inspected all of them all the way around, and there was nothing, like... Um, I couldn't take any, I couldn't, like, see anything new. So, I don't know. Where else? I, I feel like I've been everywhere, but maybe... Maybe I just need to start trying doors again, you know? Hmm... The thing about the plants recipe is that we don't know which recipe to make. Maybe we will pick a note or something. Yeah. Or one by one you can take it. Oh, like maybe I could take the wax, the wax Mary, because I needed her and now maybe I can take another one? Interesting. Yeah, because as far as I know, we haven't found any notes about what recipe to make. Um, hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. And I, ha I didn't get anything new, right, besides that key? Yeah, what the heck? Graveyard lock might have the recipe in a room. Right. Have we tried using any of the ornate keys? Um, we can't uh, interact with that until I think we have all four keys. So I just gotta hang on to them, I guess. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well? Maybe I try... BRB needs some tea? Ooh! Alright, we'll see you in a bit. Um... Yeah, what should I do? I wonder... I'm kind of tempted to go... What's that? Oh, debris. Okay. Um, I'm a little tempted to go back to the other side and check to make sure that I've explored everything on this side uh, in, the, in the new cloister area 
Um, I like, honestly can't remember if there were doors, doors or not, that didn't get opened. Like, I feel like there were some... Maybe there weren't? I don't know. Make sure I've found everything that can be found. What are all these doors here? Oh, this door here. What's this? Why didn't I open this door? Locked. Plate made of bronze. There we go. Wow, I just went right to it. I was really lucky. Oh, and we finished the bronze key. Awesome! Here we go. Let's figure out what's in here. Books and more books. Some are almost in good shape. Notes on botanicals! The warehouse lock is absolutely covered in rust. I guess that's the, that's the graveyard. It's to the warehouse. Covered in rust. I need a corrosive substance to open it. And the diethylagos diethyl blend would be perfect after adding illegible name and cooking it. It grows everywhere. I need to cut some of its characteristic red petals, but they have yet to blossom. Just like I said! Heck yeah! So we've got the red, the red flowers, we just gotta make the blend. Awesome inventories and semi-valuable books. There are also inkwells with different colors. And there's two extra doors in here. Yay. I think. Wait. Two extra doors. Oh, that's a window. Got it figured. Let's roll. Let's freaking roll. <sighs> Doorknob is totally rusted. Maybe this is the door he's talking about. Interesting. So we got two doors I can open. Maybe with the potion. Unless there's like no way to open this door at all. I don't know. This door goes to an area we've been. No, um, it opens to that tiny little rectangle underneath where we are. Yeah, yeah. So it's, we haven't been there yet, but... Hopefully we'll have enough to open the, that rusty doorknob and the gate. Alright, how do I get back to... I gotta go out here towards the new cloister and then, and then upstairs. Okay. What did you miss? We, we found a door that we could use the bronze key on and it's a, it's a tiny room inside, inside the, um, the scriptorium. And we found a um, we found a recipe for the for the flowers for the botanicals um, that will get rid of rust. And there's a door inside that room that um, is rusted over. So we're making some acid tea. Um, nice. And you're drinking it now. What kind of tea did you make? Is it green tea? Let's do this thing. Okay. What are we making again? Uh... Theothilagos? Are you not sure? Then we will check. The 
that? No. This one. Yeah, is it is it do you pronounce the the th as a t or is it t like the like diathilagos or is it diatilagos? Does anybody know? Out of curiosity. All right. goes. One Diambra two Diondos one half of Diaprunus and one Diadaricus. Um okay. <laughs> So, but we do, if it's Greek, then you don't know. But we do pronounce Athens, Athens. <laughs> You're right. Um, it's a good point. Um, all right, so we need one uh, Iambra. Which one is that? Oh, maybe that's the flower that I have? Is it Diambra? The flower that I have? Two Dianthos. Wait a minute. I'm not seeing these things. Does it make sense what I'm saying? So, Diatholagos is right here on the left, and it says we need one Diambra, two Dianthos, one half Diaprunus, and one... Iadaricus. F E F B F B B G A A B B D D E. Whoa, did you combine some? Thank you later. <laughs> Jagged. <laughs> um, did you combine like Deonthos with? Uh, is that is that like combining two of something? Does that make sense? It's flowers you think you need. Yeah. Um, hmm. Well, we're just gonna try it. So the order of these is F, C, A, B, wait. F, is that a D? Is the second one from the left a D? No. It's a C or an E. I'm gonna go with E. Okay, so I'm gonna do Jagged's, Jagged's concoction here. So, F, E. Oh shit, I think it's a G. Wait, where's G? Wait a minute. The order here is F, E, A, B, D, C. Oh, okay. Jagged, can you, um, can you rewrite your combination? Because you have a G in there. You have B and G. And I don't know what you meant to do. I think I understand what you did. You com you combined the, the word, I guess the words. Look again. Yeah. There is no G. What are you doing? I think you're 30 seconds behind. Um... You typed in a G in your in your combination, so I was just curious what what that was supposed to be.
Okay, thank you, Jagged. <laughs> Nailed it. Thanks, Jagged. The plant mix looks about right. I'm keeping it. Look at that. It's so small. A series of plants mentioned in the Dia Theologos recipe. Huh. The sap from the plants is starting to dampen the cloth. Hope it works. It worked. Uh-uh. Hmm. Oh, so pretty. Jagged for the win. All right, let's do this thing. We cooking flowers. Deoxidizing solution. Plant-based acid deox deoxidizing clean cleaner. The jar is tepid and smells pretty potent. It's tea time. Okay. Let's go open. What does it taste? <laughs> Listen. I will not be drinking that. <laughs> okay. Very toxic. I want to open that door first, and hopefully we'll have enough for the the gate. Where was the door? Was it? It was in the scriptorium, right? No. Look for the X. The X. Was, was there an X? I thought there was. Ah! Jeez. Uh. Really? It's not gonna let me go in there? Uh. Well? Still on you, Grayson. <laughs> How dare you. I'm gonna try again, because I should have listened at the door. I'm gonna try again. I need to get in there. He's gone. Heck yeah. I will open this door. The door is rust free. Nice. Do I still have? Yeah, okay. I still got the stuff, which is great. Get on in there. What have we got here? Oh heck yeah! The librarian's confession! Huh. I locked up my brothers as though they were animals and I left them to die. There are some real gems here. The fact that they're rotting away gives me a sense of unease. 
All right, let's go get our uh, go get our third tarot card. More tarot cards for Jagged. I feel like Jagged would not want these tarot cards. Gonna go towards the chapter house. And into the basilica. Looks like a token for the game in episode three. Oh, like the um for the the fortune teller? this thing. Get our tarot. What's it gonna be? One tarot, please. The door, the darkness, the silence. Oh, yikes. What's that? All right, into the graveyard we go. Hate that. Please, no noises. So, the journal said that it, it's like a storage area of some kind? If, uh... You don't know what this deck is? Never heard of these cards before? Yeah, this is a uh, fictional tarot cards. Something tells me I am not going to like what's on the other side. Oh boy. The journal. Oh, you know what? I don't know. It might have been talking about. Um... Should I open this grave? Maybe I should stop doing this. I'm gonna stop opening graves. I think. In there, but remains. I should think twice about opening up random graves. Oh boy. Sophie's an achievement hunter. Oh, well, if you put it like that. Now I have to get all, all the things opened. Although I did die. Maybe it maybe it uh, cut off my uh, my streak. <gasps> There's a key in the tomb. Hey. That was just by chance. I had no idea what I was looking for. Yo, we're four of four. You're just waiting for something to grab me? Right after she says she shouldn't be opening graves. Sophie, are you saying you're not you're done opening graves? I don't like this. I have a, I have a bad feeling about this. She's raising minions for the boss site. I, I, I can't open anymore. What's that? The lower niche looks more recent than the rest, and even so, it's from the 19th century. Gate is completely blocked. There's no way you're getting through that way. I... I hate this. I don't like the crying angels. What's that? Mausoleum was built on a prominent area of the graveyard. 
okay. We're just looking around. We're, we're fine. Totally fine. We're totally good. Wait, what? I thought I was... I thought I found the stairs. Get me out of here. Get me out of here. You 404, I think the graveyard portion is done. I think you're right. It's time to, uh... It's time to finish what we started. Where... So we have to go all the way... Back... Two. Way down there. Okay. All the way to the other side of everything. Might have to go to the door with the four keys. Yeah. We're going to go to the door, plug them all in, figure out whatever puzzle it wants us to figure out. Wait, just because I'm obsessed with this door, I need to check to see if there's any noises. The fact that it won't let me in here. It's still there. And no more for your ex-husband, Sophie. work here is done. Um, go south. Okay. Go in here and then take the stairs. Okay. Love is a powerful emotion. So I, I guess that means there's still a lot of love there, even though the cellar. even though they have parted ways. Food ale. He was like drinking all the time. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. Opening the door that they said they needed to keep locked. Um, Sophie, wait. Stop. <gasps> Don't cross that door. Daniel. The same door that I saw at Fasha's place. Don't cross it. If he's in there, I should go in. I've uh, I've been there before. Are you sure? Please, Daniel. Be careful. Skep says hi and thanks for the host. Welcome in. Um, I like how Sophie just did all of the work and then Daniel just shows up and he's like, no, 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 I'll do it. I'll go in. <laughs> like, no thank you for for the work. All right, here we go. Skepsis, you're here at um, at a, a very important moment. This is like what we've been working for to open this door. <laughs> A Tomb Raider Skepsis. Yeah. What's going on? We've like, we've spent this whole time working on this huge map and opening all of these doors and hunting down all of the keys to open this door. And uh, we showed up to open it and then our ex-husband shows up and he's like, no, 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 I'm gonna do it. I'm, I'm, go I'm doing it. So I guess he's doing it. <laughs> big, big spooky stuff. Get in here. How shall has to be in here? Okay. It's time to put an end to this nightmare. Why is there a body? Okay. 
Okay. Um. He's sleeping. <laughs> Just taking a little nap. Cool. Cool. That. Cool. What the hell is happening? Oh God, Mr. Husher? Shit. Oh shit, 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 Mr. Husher. Oh no, 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 Sebastian. Oh shit. Fuck, oh, he's dead. Fuck, man, fuck! This is the same place. The same room. <gasps> What's happening? Uh... I sure didn't make it. He must have been dead for days. This is the place. I don't see anything odd. I'm almost surprised that what I see in the reflection is the actual room I'm in. Um, uh -huh. um, you don't see anything odd? Who, me? Am I missing something? Oh, Daniel. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's seen, he's seen some pretty weird things. Oh, uh, hello? Oh, no. Where the hell am I? H hello? Argos Legrant. Reflections and experiences from the creator of the music box. I'll read it later. Now I have to get out of here. Diary. Argos Legrant. Damn it, another useless lead. Another fucking riddle. I have to get out of here. Is this where the extras hang out? I know that face. I've seen it in my nightmares. Yikes. Who's that girl? And how come it looks like she can't even see me? Because she can't see you, boy. Oh. I can't explore this room at all. Interesting. Looks like the face from the spooky photo. Yeah, I think that's Catherine. What the hell? What is this place? This damn hole never ends. Oh boy. All I can see through the window is a faint green light shimmering in the distance. Gatsby? Where am I? Elsewhere? I can't look at the map, it just says elsewhere. You got invested when we raided Coconut the other night, this game is good. <laughs> this game is, like, surprisingly so good. I think that's the door that I came from? Locked? Okay. Nothing out there, absolutely nothing. Are all these doors just going to be locked? I just start running? Running sounds good. It does sound good. Not working out for me? The coconut plays it's even better. That's very nice. <laughs> Getting in shape for the boss battle. Heck yeah. Let me in. Wait a minute, there's something I can do here? Inventory. Oh! Oh, no! There's some Indiana Jones stuff right here. Shit, I think I'm gonna lose it. Same. Uh-oh. <gasps> Holy shit, this can't be happening. I must be seeing things. Oh shit, Dan. Wake the f 
fuck up, man. Sound is good, but the running style is not. Yeah, he does a weird little, like, trot. <laughs> he trots. Something on the floor? Yeah, it was a bunch of bones and stuff. Locked. No. Anybody home? No. How about over here? Uh oh. Wait a minute. Wasn't I, uh. Didn't I? He is on drugs. Oh, show. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> the mirror. Yeah. Wait, it was broken, right? I couldn't interact with it? Did I miss something? Wait, it looks like there's a... Broken, but it looked like a hole. It does. Can't do anything with it, though. Heck. Crunchy bone sounds. <laughs> what the heck? Very crunchy. Maybe I just need to like run? Like and not stop? this? Uh -uh. Welcome to I'm Scared. <laughs> okay, I'm missing something. What is What am I supposed to do? Can I do use my tarot cards? his special item? His special item is Badge of Perseverance. It's a passive. Three years sober. Happy for him. He's worked hard for this. It's just like a little uh, it's a token. Yeah, this is a major in Inception vibes. Windows again? Windows that don't do anything. Back inside. There's the bones on the floor, but I can't do anything with them. Can I, like, walk through here somehow? Trampy! <laughs> hey, Edgy. After you get inside, go outside and get and go back inside. Okay. It looks like a hole. It does look like a hole. Like it does. 
do I do? Like my hand is going through it. Another dimension. You'd be so lost. I am lost right now. <laughs> um hmm. Um, is there some sort of clue that we've found where it's like there's some way to get out of like the dream space somehow? Fucking bizarre. No matter how much I walk, this hall is leading me nowhere. Uh oh. I think I just needed to walk a little farther. That was the only uh, part of the puzzle. Am I? Thank God. Oh. Boy. Daniel, are you all right? I'm alive, at least. Oh, Daniel. Don't worry. Let's let's get out of here. Mr. Neuer, are you all right? Did you find Sebastian? Mr. Finnegan, I... Sebastian is dead. What? Oh, my God! How? I'm sorry. I... Shit. Let's get out of here, please. I don't have much time. Sebastian? Wait. What do you mean, you don't have much time? He said the same thing on his way here. And I... Uh oh Jesus. If only I'd paid more attention, if only I'd done something. I don't think there's anything you could have done, really. Maybe. But maybe I can do something for you. Thanks. All I need right now is to get out of here. On our way, then. Husha died in there. Trapped. He probably struggled and screamed until he went mad trying to find a way out of that godforsaken place. Like me, only, in his case, nobody got there in time. I imagine he thought that there was a quicker way to go, <laughs> the same way that Faber chose. And maybe I would have done the same in his place, what I saw myself do in that mirror was just too much is this what lies ahead maybe i already know it but i'm trying to hide it from myself maybe deep down i know it's a hideous omen of what the future has in store for me maybe i know that like everyone who's come across that cursed box i too will take my own life that i would rather surrender to death than face whatever it is that lingers behind that infernal melody I should burn the thing, make that melody vanish from the face of the earth. But what about Ariadne? She's alive. What if only oh, the box yeah. can stop this? I can't destroy it without knowing for sure. Maybe there's something in Legrand's diary. Oh God, I need to rest and gather my thoughts. I need to sleep. I can only yeah. hope the nightmare She's Ariadne. Be as horrible as real life. So yes, Mikey, we are putting sort of putting the ghost to rest, I guess because the music box is cursed, so we're trying to uh basically stop the ghost from cursing or the melody, whatever it is, stop the curse totally. Yeah, and that was episode 4. And it seems like Episode 5, The Horror and the Song. That might mean we're going to the mansion! Spooky mansion time!